Hi, I'm Kate and I'm one of the physiotherapists at the Royal Women's Hospital. One of the most important things you can do during pregnancy to prepare for labour is to keep active and to have a good understanding of your pelvic floor muscles. The pelvic floor muscles are a group of muscles at the bottom of your trunk and pelvis. They lie between your pubic bone at the front and your tailbone at the back, much like a hammock. These muscles work alongside your deep back and abdominal muscles as part of your core. Their job is to control your bladder and bowel by closing around the passages that lead from the bladder and bowel to the outside world. The pelvic floor muscles also support your bladder, bowel and uterus and help to hold them high up into position in the pelvis. These muscles also play an important role in sexual sensation and function. Over the course of your pregnancy, the pelvic floor muscles become stretched and weakened due to the extra weight of your baby. Some of the hormones involved in keeping you pregnant also loosen and stretch the muscles further. It is important to exercise these muscles to keep them as strong as possible and working effectively. Signs your pelvic floor muscles are not working as well as they could, a leakage from the bladder when you cough or sneeze or laugh, trouble controlling wind, or difficulty holding onto your bladder until it is a convenient time to go to the toilet. Some women may also feel a heaviness or bulging sensation inside the vagina. To do a pelvic floor muscle contraction, sit on your seat with your feet flat on the ground. Squeeze and lift around your front and back passages, as if you're trying to hold onto wind, or as if you're trying to hold onto a full bladder. Now, keep these muscles switched on, and count slowly in your head. Then let the muscles go, and feel them relax. Each woman will be able to hold the muscle contraction for a different length of time. To strengthen or maintain the strength in your pregnancy, hold for as long as you can. Do this 10 times in a row, three times a day. It is important to feel the muscles squeeze and lift and to clearly feel them relax. So rest for a few seconds between each contraction. Remember, these muscles are internal, so you shouldn't see or feel your legs squeezing together or you shouldn't feel your buttock muscles squeezing you up off the chair. Try to keep breathing normally as you work through the exercises. You can do them in any position, lying, sitting or standing. It's also important to avoid constipation and straining on the toilet during your pregnancy, as this will further stretch and weaken your pelvic floor muscles. Some of the ways you can do this is by drinking a good amount of water, ideally one and a half to two litres of water each day. Eat plenty of high fibre foods, particularly fruit with the skin on. Exercise regularly. Don't ignore the urges to use your bladder or bowel. Avoid straining. Take your time when you're trying to empty your bladder and bowel to make sure that they're fully empty. The best toilet position to avoid straining is sitting leaning forward with your elbows on your knees and allowing your tummy to relax. Use a footstool so that your knees are high above your hips. As you do your bowel motion, sigh out deeply or make a hissing sound. Don't hold your breath. If you have any concerns with controlling your bladder or bowel, completing your pelvic floor exercises or any difficulty with toileting, please mention this to your midwife or obstetrician and they can put you in touch with one of the women's health physiotherapists at the hospital. Pregnancy is usually about 40 weeks long, but some babies come earlier and other babies come later. After 36 weeks, your baby will be putting on weight as well as maturing its lungs and brains. By about 36 weeks, your baby is almost ready to be born and you will be checked more often and have more visits at your hospital. The visits at the end of your pregnancy are similar to the ones at the start. At each visit, you will have your blood pressure checked as well as your baby's position and the height of your uterus checked also. By about 36 weeks, most babies are head down. If your obstetrician or midwife are in doubt as to whether your baby is head down, they will check this with an ultrasound. If your baby is bottom first or breech, then they will discuss the options for your care regarding this with you. Towards the end of your pregnancy, there is a condition called preeclampsia that can develop. This means that your blood pressure can be high, as well as problems in some of your other organs, such as your kidneys, liver, and brain. If you have preeclampsia, you may need medication, or your baby may need to be born earlier, as this may be the best way from preventing your preeclampsia from becoming worse. Your doctor or midwife may ask you questions about headaches, troubles with your vision, pain in your abdomen, or swelling in your feet and ankles. These symptoms can all happen with preeclampsia, but some swelling can be normal in pregnancy, especially in summer, and some of us get headaches anyway. If you're concerned about any of these symptoms, it's important that you come in to get checked out or have a chat with your midwife or doctor about this. 
A swab of the vagina is recommended at 36 weeks. This is looking for a bacteria called Group B Streptococcus or GBS. We all have good bacteria on our skins, mouths and vaginas and GBS is one of the good bacteria that protects our vagina from becoming unwell. However, as your baby's immune system is immature, if they swallow this as they are coming down the birth canal, they can get very sick. This bacteria is only present in our vaginas about 30% of the time. If you are positive for the group B streptococcus bacteria and your waters break prior to labour, then it may be recommended that you be induced to reduce the time that the baby is exposed to the bacteria. The other things that will be discussed during a 36 week visit include what to do if you think you're on labour, if your waters break and how to contact the hospital. Your, the importance of your baby's movements will also be discussed at this time and if you have any questions this is a good time to ask. After the 36 week visit you will be seen in one to two weeks depending on how well you and your baby are. From 37 weeks onwards your baby is considered fully developed in term. If you go past your due date, an appointment will be booked at 41 weeks to discuss induction of labour.